Hello, welcome to John Moore's Patent Prize 2020. My name's Catherine Lloyd, I'm the project manager for the exhibition. We've got 67 patents in the show this year and we're going to take a closer look. So this is Hillary, really strong image, great thighs, great glasses, smoking a cigarette, badass attitude. Hillary is part of a series of paintings that the artist refers to as her girls. So she gets a lot of strength and encouragement from these girls and it was actually Hillary herself who prompted the artist to enter the painting into the competition this year. The starting point for this painting is the jumper that the figure is wearing that Alan came across. It's an old retro jumper, happens to have a tiger on it. And as he was making this painting, the country entered lockdown. Everybody was watching things on TV, on Netflix, and one of those programmes was The Tiger King, which he references in the painting, which just brings it very much into what we experienced at the beginning of lockdown last year. To the moon and back, it's a huge rocket that's been made out of cobble boxes, and it reminds me of being at home when I was younger, making things with my parents and brothers and sisters, but also I think it just relates to people being at home now, trying to be creative in lockdown. And one thing that I really love about this painting is it's a tiny light bulb at the top, it just plays with that sense of scale. This painting is a bit like a room within a gallery itself. There are actually 72 little individual paintings included in this one painting, which actually brings a total to 139 paintings in the exhibition. And something that's quite nice about this painting in particular is it includes a little drawing from the artist's daughter, woodpecker that has a beak and a pair of lips. I think that actually is the youngest artist in the show. This room in the exhibition is probably the quietest room in terms of subject matter. There's a lot of still images, there's a lot of outdoor scenery, and it also contains our smallest painting in the show this year, which is this painting, which measures 16 and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres. This work by Mandy Payne is of a housing estate. It's a subject matter that she's been looking into for quite a few years, overlooked spaces, brutalist architecture, and unlike any of the other paintings in the show, it's, she's chosen to paint this on a piece of concrete. She uses concrete, she uses spray paint, and it's a direct connection to those places that she's trying to depict in her paintings. I am Curious Pink, acrylic on paper. It's part of a series of 100 paintings, and this is number one within that series. The artist who made this work is predominantly a filmmaker, but decided to enter the competition this year. I asked her a little bit about the title. It's quite a strange, abstract title. It didn't really make that much sense. And she told me about a Swedish film that was made in the 60s, which is called I Am Curious Yellow. So it seemed to lend itself really well to this painting. Of course, we're always really careful when we're handling and moving and installing any of the artworks in the show. But this work, especially if you take a closer look, you'll see little fragments of glass that the artist has placed within the edge of the frame. This is quite a satisfying painting. I want to eat that grapefruit. It's definitely a grapefruit. It's not an orange. It's not an egg from a distance. And it's not the sun. But there's something really nice about these repeated circles and that dominant shadow, which also reminds me of the Sally Kimberg hand loose painting in Room 12. Tender by Liz Elton is the largest work in the show this year. It measures almost three metres by three metres. Saying that, it actually arrived in a tiny package. It is the largest work, but it's also super fragile and will move ever so slightly as you wander past it. This work is made to look like tape and packaging and wrapping, but it's actually entirely made from paint. It's the most sculptural work in the show this year. The artist is actually Liverpool-based. He's got a studio around the corner. So for stage two judging, we brought him into the gallery and we got him to install it. 